Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and, of course, Nova Voice and Data Systems. And uh, one of the things I want to talk to you about before our series is about some of the things you need to think about ahead of time. Now, it's a great idea uh, putting your TVs on the wall and hiding the cables behind the wall. Uh, but it's also a project, and, it's, and it can be a do-it-yourself project, or you can get someone else who has experience doing it for you. And in this series, you'll see uh, how to do it yourself. Um, but I wanted to go over some of the, the questions you should be asking yourself um, as you start planning for this project, because this is more than just putting a jack on the wall. It takes a little more involvement, and as you'll see in the series, we'll go step by step. We're actually doing three rooms, and so you'll see a couple different ways to do some things. And, and you have some good ideas from people who are experienced on uh, uh, doing hundreds, if not thousands, of these installs throughout Southern California. All right, so I put a circuit tester in there. Um, this is just to, you could get these at any hardware store. Um, it probably costs you three bucks or something. It actually you plug it in to make sure the uh, circuit is good. It will tell you if it's correct, bad, if it's wired wrong, that kind of thing. Um, but it'll also tell you if it's hot. And so um, we plug that thing in. We could see the lights that it was hot. It's active. And then uh, we sent an assistant to the panel. He started turning off the panels until we told him which one it was. So, so now we know that this isn't hot. I'm not going to electrocute myself. And, uh, and if it is a switch circuit, you can also want to go ahead and go on the second one and again it's dead so I feel good and confident about working with that don't work with the electrical unless you feel really comfortable working with the electrical <laughs> so and plus you you want to uh, check your uh, insurance on your home and stuff like that to see if you might avoid anything by working with it you might want to go ahead and pay a uh, electrician to work with it so uh, not something that everyone wants to do you, you could running some Cat5, running some coax, stuff like that through your house, you're not gonna really do anything that's gonna injure or hurt anything. This is something that if you do wrong, could could do something bad to your home, so. Plus you have codes, so you always want to I do need that. honor the code in, that, uh, in your state or your city. So you always wanna make sure the power is turned off. Sells off. <laughs> If I could just get all the way on it, I think you need, you need like, right in the very front, in order to get that. Alignment is no problem, but. So right now we're cutting the nails that hold the box in place. Carefully. Make sure you turn off the power. And you may enlist an electrician to help you. Which we have right here. Yes. <laughs> exactly. I am not an electrician. Something like this, get an oversized plate. I make it better. because it doesn't really have much room in the back there to come out. Oh, I see. I see my problem. See if I can pull it now, okay? Well, I, I see the staple right now, so. Okay. Let's see where it's stapled. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get to it. And of course, what we're going to do is take the wire.
Make sure. Take this off nice and tight. Don't want to do this twice. <laughs> yeah, you might want to add string to it. In case that comes off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the typical. This one he's got. I've never seen it before. It's like a. Is it was it for a specific device or something? I've never. Oh, that Romax. I've had that for twenty years. Uh -huh. <laughs> no Might be the old way they did it. Maybe. And you need a wire. You need a wire. Uh, well, you can put the two grounds together, or do you need a? Uh, I just need a wire. Together. Okay. Uh, we could do a pigtail. So I think I'm going to go like that. Separate the two. That's the game. Who's going to connect them together? I don't think so. This is not typical. Like I said, yeah. I've never seen it. This is more regular than that one, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. They speed on nutrition, so I used to mm -hmm. see all this stuff all the time. This so weird. this is neutral, that's ground, and that's uh, whatever that one is. And then uh, white's neutral, white's yeah. neutral. Copper, salt, copper for round. Right. And then this is hot. Hot, okay. Hot gray.
playing next to me. Gold's always, but um, it actually says on here white, black, white wire, and that one doesn't say, it just says white on the side. And gold's always hot. Gold's the which one. Alright, and then with these, you just uh, take them. Sure. You go with these or something? I will in a minute. Let's see. Right here. Oh, yeah. Looks like Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David, signing out. You stay classy, Internet. <laughs>